tonight's recap of the Big Brother 11 premiere. Oh, Big Brother's back. I'm so excited. I can barely contain. All right, so... We're going to start off with a shout-out to LD Bright 666 Happy birthday! Yay! To you. So, Julie. Miss Julie's back with her baby Check bump. Not. And we heard last night on Craig Ferguson, that's the boy. Congratulations, Julie and Leslie. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Please so, don't name that kid Leslie. She's not. All right. Twelve strangers. And they're going to be putting clicks. You know, high school clicks. Yeah. Uh, the key surprises. This is like <laughs> the best part of the season. Because you don't really know these people yet. And it's like... They have to say those cheesy lines that have something to do with like their job or whatever. Yeah. And when Ronnie got his key, he was like... <laughs> You're 30. It was a bit you too much, 30. Ronnie. Was that for real? I don't think so. I hope so. not. And like, this scientist is ready to mix things up. <laughs> Stuff like so that. So cheesy. <laughs> they have one hour to pack. I find that hard to believe, but I guess if they said it, it might not be true. <laughs> uh, so you know the deal. You enter one little group at a time, so there's 12 people to go in, so you do the math four at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, no one wanted to sleep in the pool room on the floaties, so no. the last group of four was stuck in there. But there was only three beds left. So Jeff was like, I don't have a bed, guys. So I think two of the girls paired up so that he could have his own. I think uh, Michelle was a little bit too eager to maybe invite Jeff into her bed. She's like, I'm married, I can't. <gasps> but you're really cute, I wish I was single. She's like, <laughs> yeah, I know. She's that like was... totally obsessing over uh, Jeff already, and it's getting a, a little lot of weird. Are. Yeah, but she's married. Don't do it, Michelle. You'll regret it. <laughs> so it was time for the getting to know you. <laughs> Champagne. Yes. You know when you add alcohol in the mix, things are going to go south. So they all sat in the couches in the living room. On the couches, not in them. Yeah. Um, and They, they might have ended up in them. Uh, yeah, Natalie lied about her age right she off the bat. She said she was 18. Anybody who knows anything about Big Brother knows that there are no 18-year-olds on the show. No. That, the last one that they had on was Danielle, and that was only because was they wanted 20. evil dick. She was 20. Oh, right, okay. Under if 21s. If they allowed 18-year-olds, I would be on the show. That's right. And she, it's not even like she's close. She's 24. And she looks it, too. Are you kidding me? Couldn't she you looks have said it. you were like 22 or something? I mean, that's a bit of a stretch. Ugh. Kevin is getting pissed. He doesn't like her lying about her age because he knows he exactly how old like, she is. She looks like she's at least 25. <laughs> yeah. And Kevin's getting really annoyed with the fake boobs in the room. Mm -hmm. You know who we're talking about. Laura. <laughs> and Jordan. Yeah, but hers are a little bit more believable. Laura's were dick. That's too much. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said they were dick. <laughs> No, like they're it. boobs. <laughs> All right, so the four clicks. Julie dropped the bomb. It's going to be the populars, the geeks, and the athletes. And then I love her word for the freaks. The offbeats. Well, she didn't come well, up with Well, whoever came up with it. They're freaks. Call them what they are. So this can either hurt you in the game or it can help you. Because if someone from your click wins the HOH, the whole click is safe from nominations. That's pretty interesting. That's kind of sucky, though. What if you hate everyone on your clique and you want to put them up? Well, I think that's probably going to change Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be the whole the show like right. that. But. I mean, just like, uh, what was it, season nine, where they had they were paired up and both went? I guess. It has to change at some point. So, the athletes are Jeff, Natalie, and Russell. Three tools right there. <laughs> Populars. Brayden, Laura, and Jordan. I love how Brayden just makes up these friggin' words out of nowhere. No one gets you. <laughs> <laughs> the brains. Shima, Ronnie, and Michelle. Keep it in your pants, Michelle. <laughs> and the offbeats. Or the freaks. Kevin, Casey, and Lydia. All right. There is a locker room out in the backyard. Because it's time for the first stage of marriage. <gasps> All right. You got so. Uh, this is like so weird and this dirty. This is actually where they found out what cliques they were in. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Because their names were on toilet seats. Yeah, it was supposed to be like a bad high school experience in the locker room. I never had this. I just graduated from high school. Um, yeah. You had to like sit in this diaper thing. It's like one of those little kid swings where you put your legs through. <laughs> really? Because it kind of looked like a big fat diaper pants. And then <laughs> they're going to hoist you up and you had to hold on to this toilet seat. Meanwhile, um, these okay. scary diaper pants are creeping up your ass crack, and yeah. it looks really painful, especially for the guys, because they it's look... you a wedgie. And they look like they have, like, frontal wedgie things, too, going on, so... Uh. If you didn't get it already, it's an endurance. Right. And, uh, yeah. <sighs> The twist here... you got to hold on to the toilet seat yeah. to relieve the pressure on your genitals. The twist is that no one competing is going to be the HOH for the first right. week. So, Julie trots out the mysterious four. <laughs> and they are former house guests, all of them. And they all match up with the clicks. Mm -hmm. So, in the offbeat category... We have Cowboy from season five. Uh, oh my God, I could barely leave chasing. So yeah. <laughs> For the populars from season eight, Jessica. Booyah. Booyah. <laughs> All right. For the brains, just mix up the letters because it's Brian ah! from season ten. Oh my God. That's, what, well, that's the one we were rooting for, really but we already knew the outcome picks. anyway. Uh, and. Also from season 10 for the athletes. F and Jesse. Hate him. <laughs> I'm going on the record right now. He's really annoying. I freaking If you hate didn't watch Jesse. last season, you were I'd like it. to take a baseball bat and hit his head off his shoulder. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I won't do it. I just want to. So, whichever click wins this challenge, that mystery guest is going to join the competition and As be the first the HOH. HOH. So, yeah, the people aren't dropping as fast as they thought, so it's time to pull out the tricks. It's super wedgie time. Uh, they get a super wedgie by getting bounced for 30 seconds. Uh-huh. Uh, and the mystery guests decide who they want to, you know, what click they want to give the super wedgie to. So for the first super wedgie, say that ten times fast, uh, two were given to the athlete click. One was given to the offbeats and one to the popular. So the brains were scot off scotch free for there the There was first, only one uh, brain left at that point. Yeah, which was Shima. Because mm -hmm. uh, she only weighs like three ounces. So it really wasn't giving her much of a wedgie. The second super wedgie, because the first one didn't do any good. The still all four clicks represented. Three were given to the athletes. Ooh. Some heavy targeting there on the athletes. And one to Shima. Right. So, the brains were the first one out. Gosh. Sorry, Shima. <laughs> I feel poorly represented. I know. And then the offbeats, my, my click, was uh, out. So, it came down to that Tool Braden versus Russell and Natalie. And I don't, I'm telling you right now, I don't like Natalie. I don't like people with attitudes She's like so that. She's so cocky. Don't like cocky. Wow, this is just like high school. Exactly. <laughs> Athletes and populars. Exactly. So Braden slipped off. <laughs> I guess he was too tricksy. He was doing these pull-ups and stuff. Show off. I think he was trying to hold on, though. I think he was trying to relieve the pressure on his sack. All right, so... The athletes won, which means Jesse is joining the cast. Effin' Jesse. I wish Keisha was there to, like, give him some cake. Yeah, congratulations. Not really. <laughs> All right, so the next recap is going to be Sunday. Correct. They're going to be naming the two house guests that are up for elimination. You know the drill. And Kitten here is back with the daily updates. God Woo! Help me. <laughs> until, until she has to leave for college anyway, which will be the end of August. They didn't turn the feeds on yet, but no. hopefully they will. By yeah, tomorrow. we've already got some uh, spoilers that we've heard. Do we? We do. They're, they're rumors at this point, but we're going to confirm them when we look at the feeds. So, as always, if you would like a house guest of the day shout out, drop us a line at madrosed at gmail.com and uh, we'll try and hook you up. So, till tomorrow, much, much love. love.